New at 10, after one of the driest uh, winters on record, there's a lot of concern over how the drought conditions are going to affect Lake Tahoe. The lake's water levels have already started to fall, and there's simply not enough snow melt to fill the lake back up to normal levels. Cronforce Charles Clifford has a closer look at how the drought in the Sierra will also affect us here in the Bay Area. Earlier this month, the city of South Lake Tahoe closed the El Dorado Beach boat ramp to motorized watercraft. The reason is that the lake's water level has dropped to the point where it's no longer safe to put boats in here. In fact, the lake is the lowest it has been in five years. The reason is that the Tahoe region has seen two dry winters in a row. Extremely dry conditions. David Wathen is the chief deputy watermaster for Lake Tahoe. He says there simply hasn't been enough precipitation to replace the lake water lost to evaporation and outflow. Lack of precipitation and snowpack and runoff. Uh, so we're currently sitting about two and a half feet above the the natural rim of Lake Tahoe. Now Lake Tahoe has a natural maximum capacity and when it's at that capacity the water level sits at about 6,223 feet. They call that the rim. Now there is a dam on the north end of the lake that can raise the capacity of the lake an additional six feet to 6,229 feet of elevation and all that extra water is used as a reservoir and that water is sent downstream in the Truckee River during the summer months. But as the water level in the lake drops, less and less water will flow through the dam and at some point there may be no water going over the dam at all and that could be a problem. When we reach rim control, uh, which would be this summer, late July, early August, we'll start hitting that rim control with a limited release. We're not going to be able to meet, fully satisfy our demands downstream. Meaning less water for irrigation, wildlife, and people. But there is a silver lining of sorts, one that could actually make a lot of Tahoe visitors and residents very happy. A low water level at Lake Tahoe, however, I mean, you have more beach. When we're high, we get a lot of complaints about lack of beach. Yeah. Now, as for what happens beyond this summer, next fall, nobody really knows. If we have another wet winter, it could fill the lake up and we'd be in good shape. But if it's another dry winter, the elevation of the water could stay near that rim level, meaning very little moisture is going down the Truckee River to be used for other purposes. But for now, at Lake Tahoe, Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News.